हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सौरभ यर एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम मेड बाई मी ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक रियली लाइक टू थैंक नितिन सर फॉर गिविंग मे दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट माई प्रॉब्लम बिफोर यू ऑल तो लेट्स गेट स्ट्रेट अवे स्टार्टेड विथ दी प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ तो बोलू वॉन्ट्स टू कलेक्ट ब्ल्यू वॉटर ब्ल्यू एंड येल्लो कलर्ड वॉटर तो ब्ल्यू वॉटर इज इन पाइप वन and yellow water is in pipe टू so bolu wants to collect blue and yellow colored water separately in his two containers okay so he has two containers for his further use and does the following arrangement so that he achieves what he wants okay so this is the arrangement which he does he applies the concept of equation of continuity ab is equal to constant and according to him on decreasing area velocity increases and also on increasing area velocity decreases so this is what he had in mind so he applies this equation of continuity thinking that blue water will drop faster and hence gets collected first as compared to yellow water so that he can separate both okay so let me just explain uh, what he is thinking that what would happen exactly so here we have blue water and here we have yellow water as we can see the area of blue water pipe is a and area of pipe 2 is 10a so this is smaller and this is bigger so what he thinks that blue water will drop down faster as compared to yellow water because the area of the uh, pipe one is small okay so this is how it happens so this drops down faster okay gets collected in this container he puts this container aside and then this yellow water drops down yellow yellow water drops down gets collected in the beaker and this is how he separates them okay so how exactly he thinks that uh, on decreasing the area on decreasing the area velocity would increase okay so he thinks that because of this because of making up area difference difference in the area of the two pipes blue water will drop down faster and get collected so he can separate this and comparatively later yellow water will drop down and he can collect yellow water and separate them okay so now let's proceed so what happens let's continue but to his surprise when the actual state system starts he gets green colored water being collected in the beaker okay so range of course where all did bholu go wrong this is what the question is asking so let's proceed to the solution so here we have the solution solution to the qualitative problem so this problem has two concepts involved in it first one is the equation of continuity and second one is the bernoulli's theorem let put let's put this as two parts like what was bolu thinking what was his actual concept according to him and what corrections had to be made in it okay so first we will discuss the area of continuity concept so here is the bolu's concept okay so when area is decreased velocity increases he derived this statement just by looking at the equation ab is equal to constant right but actually what corrections have to be made actually statement of equation of continuity is in a single pipe itself where area is more velocity of the fluid decreases and where area is less velocity of the flowing liquid is more i can even explain this just for reference here is the pipe we have the single pipe itself is what it is written so here of course area is more 
let's say this is v1 let's say this is v2 so since here area is more velocity here is going to be less if this is valid just for a single pipe right whereas bholu what he did is he applied this concept of uh, wrongly in two different pipes keeping the first as area a second as 10a and thinking that from a velocity will be much faster so this is not going to happen right it is valid in a single pipe itself okay so therefore bolu was wrong interpreting the equation of continuity incorrectly for two different pipes while the actual statement is valid in a single pipe itself okay let me just now let's come to the second part of this problem secondly is thought that the blue water will drop down faster as compared to yellow water since the area of cross section was small for pipe 1 was completely wrong this can be shown by applying the bernoulli's theorem for points p and q which will come in the uh, figure i will show you now okay i hope now everything is clear till here let's proceed so here is the figure which we have okay so these are points p and q these are the points p and q okay and here and this is p dash and q dash let the velocity of water coming out from pipe 1 be v1 and that from pipe 2 be v2 which actually Bolu expected to be right he expected to be, it to be different that v1 is going to be more and v2 is going to be less so that he would be able to collect blue and yellow water separately but let's see what happens now and also of course this is true that rho is the density of water same for yellow water and blue water because even if the color is same it is still water right so applying bernoulli's theorem for pipe 1 and 2 so for pipe 1 we apply it so initially as we can see that at t is equal to 0 both have the velocity v here so p atm plus half rho v square this is for q point must be equal to p atm plus rho g minus h plus half rho v1 square and this is for point p right okay, this is for pipe 1 now let's proceed to pipe 2 we have p dash and q dash okay so for q dash okay so this is for q dash and this is for p dash so how do we apply this here the pressure is p atm also here the pressure is p atm since it is open to air so for uh, p p q p dash q dash all uh, we have at every point we have uh, the pressure as patm okay so also i uh, i must tell you this is the reference line with respect to which we are drawing all this okay drawing all these conclusions and equations okay so let us proceed from solving this we can easily see that v1 is equal to v2 and hence both liquid will start falling with exactly same speed simultaneously right at the same time and due to which the separation of the blue and yellow water is not possible which he thought separation of blue and yellow water is not possible right since the both start falling simultaneously okay so at the same time when blue water starts falling right 
the blue water starts falling at the same time yellow water is also going to start falling so let's proceed now so this is what we have so what is the conclusion we get from this what is the conclusion we get from this the speed through which the flowing liquid emerges out of the pipe completely independent of the area of cross section or the volume of tube taken it just depends on the height between the two points considering which the theorem is applied i hope you get this okay so the speed through which the flowing liquid emerges out uh, in this case it was v1 and v2 is completely independent of the area of cross section okay so where did bolu go wrong that he kept the area of cross section different for each pipe thinking that velocity will be different right v1 and v2 will be different but it's the same since it just depends on the height between the two points considering which the theorem is applied like p dash and q dash what was the height it was h between p and q what was the height it was h okay so they will start falling simultaneously now and fall into the vessel so mixing is going to take place basically so now we know that the velocity of the water of both colors when emerges out of their respective pipes is same velocity is same as they fall in this hemispherical vessel at the same time which leads to mixing of both color okay and so from primary color combination we know that blue plus yellow is going to give us green color water okay and due to this mixing bolo gets green colored water in the container which was a clear surprise for him okay so i hope you enjoyed this solution as well as the problem okay so thank you so much for giving your time uh, make sure to subscribe indian school of physics okay so thank you very much hello everyone uh, so this day, republic day there is a very special offer at uh, an academy and uh, it will be lasting on uh, 25th 26th 27th and uh, you can use my code nitin sir for uh, 10% subscription and uh, these are the offers uh, guys uh, you know if you buy 6 month subscription you'll be getting 3 months itj plus uh, extension plus uh, it will help you in board also 2 months cbsc goal class 12th and similarly if you buy for 12 months and you'll be getting 6 months extension in that and 3 months of uh, cbsc goal class uh, on plus will be added extra similarly if you mm, get 24 months uh, subscription you'll be getting 6 months itj plus subscription and uh, plus 3 months of goal and it will be class uh, 10 so it will help you in uh, board exam also and another information is regarding uh, prodigy exam and uh, the next prodigy exam will be on 29th of january 10 am onwards it is for uh, 7th 8th 9th 10th engineering and medical aspirants from class 11th and 12th a lot of scholarships will be there and uh, you can compete at all india level and uh, the best part of this uh, an academy prodigy is you will be having 20 lakhs uh, possibility of 20 lakhs college grant so it will be very uh, useful for the students who are getting this so that's it guys thank you